Hi, I'm Lou and today I'm going to show you how to install a claw foot tub. I have a drain kit here, a water supply kit here, and then a few extra parts I had to buy at the hardware store. This is a drop leaf elbow and this is a three quarter to one half threaded adapter. Wrap each of the adapters five or six times with Teflon tape. Screw these together and tighten with a wrench. So here's my drain line, two by four, mounted in at about four inches down from the top of the joist. And we're gonna take the things we just made here and mount them one right there. The other one is going to be six inches apart away from that over here. Here's a quick PEX lesson. Put on the ring, put in the fitting, and squeeze. Here it is with the tub faucets temporarily installed. We're going to make a cardboard template with holes that are six inches apart. The faucet itself is perfect for that. Trace these down to the size of your pipes and cut them out with a knife. Install your faucets with this template in place. Once everything's lined up exactly the way you want it, tape your template to the subfloor like this. It's important to get this template precise, so if you've got gaps in your holes, you can cover them with tape like this. Now carefully pull your pipes out and fold your template back. Cut a hole for your drain and lay in your subfloor. Flip your template back over and mark out the new holes. Drill them exactly to the size of your pipes. And double check that they line up perfectly with the drop of your elbows. This pipe goes through the subfloor and has these two nuts tightened together to hold it against the wood. Unfortunately, this part will already be screwed down into your drop of your elbow. So what we'll have to do is put the pipe in and then cut a hole right here so we can reach under with a wrench and tighten it. I can't demonstrate this with the real subfloor in place, so I've got this sample piece. You put the top nut and this rubber washer on your threaded pipe. Then put this through the subfloor. On the bottom side, you put a metal washer and then the other nut. Tighten it down so you have about an inch of play. Wrap five or six layers of Teflon tape on your pipe and screw it into the mounting point down there. I'll snug this nut and washer all the way to the bottom of the subfloor. I'll snug this top nut down and tighten it with a wrench. This is what the supply lines look like installed. Later I'll put in a finished floor and finally these trim rings will slide down over the top of these pipes. The drain kit is really simple. This part goes down into the floor and there's the trim ring. Here's the tub drain, a rubber washer, and the pipe that connects to this T. This will be cut to length about here. Here's the overflow face, a rubber washer, and the down pipe. This will also need to be cut right about here. Here's the T. Here's the overflow pipe. We'll line the top of that up with the overflow hole in the tub and put in a rubber washer. And then screw in the overflow grate from the front. Washer goes on top of the drain pipe like this. Drain pipe goes into the T like this. And finally, the drain gets screwed in like this. If you have a telephone faucet, attach it here. Thanks for watching and good luck installing your clawfoot tub.